Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Papa Bale. Welcome to the channel. Um, so what I decided to do after seeing how, how well the series circuit worked with the two strands going in a series circuit, separate series circuits now. This is like, if you get what I mean, there's 1555 2 times 2 here and 1555 times 2 there. And each one of those single strands is hooked up in a series circuit. Now with these coils, one is hooked up to the first series circuit and the other is hooked up to the second series circuit for right now. That's what I did. And I mean, I, I, I'll work on getting it to start itself, but for now I gotta give it a spark. Because I'm working off a trigger coil and it doesn't generate. We might have to jump it again, but I'm going to turn it all the way up. This is 25 volts, 0.1 amps. It's taking a little while to get going. It's kind of discouraging. I don't know. I know that I, I, it, as you, if you turn it up as the frequency increases, you will get tremendous amounts of speed out of this. Here we go. See, it just took a while for it to kick in. Now these are 14 AWG coils with 80 turns per coil. Twenty five and point two amps. Cut that back. Still gotta stabilize the shaft, man. I'm just not looking forward to doing that. And the cool thing about this is like if you like reduce it to a certain point, because it doesn't it takes a long time to accelerate, it'll start going faster when you turn it down. <laughs> For real though, and it's like an equilibrium, you know, you got to find the, the sweet spot, as I was told. There you go. That's pretty nifty. Those those little extra coils there, the 160 turns of uh, 14 gauge is really something. So I was thinking about putting, doing offset again. I'm working on another coil right now. We might uh, take that one out for now or we'll put it over there. We'll see what happens with that. But uh, I'm making the third 120 slot coil. That's like, it'll be exactly the same as this one right here. And then filler. What do we put inside of... In between you know I got one millimeter coils you could try those put two of them up here right now this one's the best one because it's been it was made on a winder the other two I did by hand mmm this one's nice and tight one millimeter 190 turns One ninety T. All right. Put that like here on the other side, or you know, I don't know. I'm fast, but I don't know. I'm not trying to. Uh, maybe we'll have a toggle switch or a switch where these are activated and then those are activated. 
You can turn in simultaneously, turn one on, turn one off. I have no idea how to make that happen, but I'm sure it happens all the time with, uh, you know, switching and all that, just regular old switching. Maybe that's just it right there. Maybe I just use a switch. No, I don't need to use a switch. Slow, slow down, buddy. Slow down. Um, I'm going to try using them together first. And if it just flies off the wheels here, the shaft it breaks the table. We'll see. I mean, I don't think there's going to be a tremendous imbalance because the one millimeter wire is 190 turns and the 14 gauge is 80 turns. So I'm saying it's nowhere near the same amount of copper. Nowhere, it's just totally different. There's nowhere near the same amount of resistance. There's, but I think it's all right, you know. Maybe I'll just, uh, once the other coil gets done, I'll hook up the one millimeters because there's three of those. The 14 gauges. I got two good ones and I got one that doesn't have much in it. And then I was going to do, uh, like, Diode flyback loops. Well, not flyback, but you know that goes from one end goes from the end of the coil to the beginning of the coil, linked via diode. So it's also changing that into DC electricity that's going into the coil. And then if you you can send that through a few caps too, and that's what I'm doing. But since there's two series circuits going around here, um. I got two sets of capacitors for one for each strand. So these are hooked up to the strands. Those, well, this is hooked up to a strand and this is hooked up to the other strand. Bingo. Easy, easy enough. And I just think this is, this is tight. Those 14 gauge coils really give it a boost. Alright, thank you very much. Peace out. Have a good night. Please subscribe. Bye now.